Ooh, I've been waiting for about a month now for this one to come out from the coming soon section to the new release section. Does this one have what it takes to get into our collection? I'm going to beat this one right down to the ground, slam it, kick it, punch it. And I'm warning you, it could get pretty nasty. Let's go to the scorecards. Terry here again, guiding metal music guardians like you to the newest metal music. If you're up for a fistful of new metal music to collect right now, stick around. In about seven minutes, you'll have four new extreme albums to add to your collection. If you like what is here on this list, Redline is for you because I review, analyze, and break down the newest extreme releases from my weekly charts so you get the best new metal each and every day. Today's new album is Ekbomb by Benighted. This is the band's newest album up for a fresh red line review. Let's go ahead and break this one down. In Apple Music, I open the band's page and I see that there are 12 strong sounding tracks totaling 37 full minutes. Album cover artwork, as you can see, it's a black and gray demonic being with gorgeous yellow fonts. Luckily, this album cover caught my eye pretty quick thanks to the artist. They classified themselves in Apple Music as death and black metal in that category. Between that, the album artwork, the song titles, and a quick sound check, I visualized something deliciously hideous. Are you already a fan of them? Let me know in the comments because I've never heard Benighted before. My genre description before I start the review, I'm going to say it's some form of extreme death metal. We'll see if that holds water during my reveal a little further down the road here. Track one, it opens massively, super massively, with tremendous speed, power, and energy to spare. Vocals are rangy, fry with intense pressure, big riffs, bass, and furious percussions, and it's wrapped in a very technical, melodic mayhem. It is brutal. That's track one. Track two is pandemonium with blistering, ranging tempos, brutal rhythms. It feels like the walls of my studio could bleed from this. It's intense and it is so cool. Track three is lightning fast again. No let up in the energy. It's heavy with scorching rhythms and melodies with torturous vocals once again, Big guitar riffs and big thunderous bass and percussions. I'm loving this one. Track four is equally immense with huge speed and energy range. I don't know how at this point the vocalists are doing this, but it is really appreciated. This is fantastic stuff here. Track five, it is slam death metal per personified. It's ultra heavy and it is a must hear to believe it is Gorgeous in a hideous way. Rest of the album was pure fire with no light up in the energy right down to the last second. There are no ballads here. It is pure, brutal mayhem. In summary, I imagine that they must have an insane live show. This is a blowtorch of an album with every track maxed out. Kudos to Benighted for a job well done here. Recording and sound quality, it was professional, but I found it was pushing the limits of the technology here, while production and musicality was ultra raw, in my opinion. I rate the overall levels of rhythm and tempo as immense at levels somewhere ranging between 6, 7, and even 8 at times in intensity range, while the harmonies and melodies, they were even... Also very high at a six or seven range of presence in this album as well. I find the lyrical theme here is gore. Becoming a mainstream or radio act here is so far from ever happening. Trust me. Do not fear metal mongers. There's no radio for Benighted whatsoever. Unless they do this kind of stuff in France where this band is actually from. So, Yeah. Um, range and flow of the album is consistent and the tracks are arranged tightly. They know what they're doing. I'm going to describe the vocals as blood curdling B 
beastly with huge range from top to bottom. The guitar work is incredible with rhythms, riffs, range. Bass section is bulldozer big. And finally, the drums and percussion performance was literally a match for the vocal work here with scorching drums. There were some samples and bites to round things out pretty nicely here. Overall, the energy and intensity was immense. They remind me of a more raw version of Archspire with bands similar, uh, similarity rather to uh, Skeletal Remains, cattle, cattle Decapitation, and many others too. Um, I asked my chat GPT and they said Cryptopsy and Aborted are a good match for this band. So I'm pretty much in agreement there too. The temperature rating is sub-zero cold. That's the general feeling here at a level eight or nine of freeze intensity with a very dark tonality feel. I'm going to set at a level seven or eight shade level. While the overall color colors, I'm going to describe as black as coal. The album cover artwork perfectly matches the music that is contained here. The general feeling I had during this session, it was a white knuckle electric under the skin feeling ride. It led me to give this album a massive seismic reading of 9.1 on my Richter scale. That's actually very rare to hit a nine here. This is going to be great music for an album review party over cold beer and pizza for sure. Nice and loud too. And the reveal, my predictions from earlier, well, I did say extreme death metal. Now my genre description is more leaning toward grindcore. That's about as, as well as I can put it. The official bio, as I look online, it says death grind, which means I've been slightly redeemed here. My favorite tracks, every single track was of equal intensity. I couldn't pick, to be honest with you. Some had a little wee bit more rhythm there. I think uh, track three and five, they had some really, really deep, thunderous rhythms. Maybe them. And finally... I've decided, yeah, it's going to go into my library. This is really good stuff. I'm going to stream them again and again, I'm pretty sure. Lastly, stream them for yourself. Find out if they are for you. And that is it for another episode of Redline Reviews. I'm going to dig into my treasure chest and recommend as Gomorrah Burns by Cryptopsy, just for you. Say thanks for hanging out today. And a recap during episode 100. I finally made it past the 100 mark here. I reviewed The Tide of Death and Fractured Dreams by Ingested. And I added Suffer and Become by Vitriol from my secret stash at the end here. And yeah, that is it. That's uh, four albums in seven minutes. See that last episode for the full scoop. Stream them for yourself and see if they are for you. Lastly, remember, you have the power, okay, to support all metal artists. Stream them, engage them on social, buy the merch, see them live if you can. Join me again soon for another episode of Redline Reviews. And finally, hit that subscribe if you want to get more new albums here first. Cheers, everybody, and have a great weekend. We will see you in the next review. Have a good night.